Yellow, what's cracking, mother truckers? All right, hey, you guys wanted to see some cooking stuff? We got a cooking special for you, mother truckers, today. Oh my goodness, I'm excited, and I'm also freaking hungry. And I got fat boy over, dude. This son just looks hungry, man. And he also looks like a French model. You want me to paint you, dude? Look at you, something. Oh man, I can barely even see you. I don't even know how to draw, just a belly. Sheesh. All right, we're doing something special today, man. I, we're gonna do a catch and cook from a Texas hunt that I did um, for whitetail. So, I, uh, you know, usually whenever I do whitetail and stuff like that, I, uh, actually, no, this isn't a Texas whitetail, this is an Indiana whitetail. Actually, you know what, I don't even know which one it is because I just mixed all the ground meat up and stuff in the freezer. So this is all burger, okay? When I usually go out and hunt um, and butcher up the deer and everything like that, I usually get most of it into burger because my favorite foods are burgers, tacos, um, and things of that nature, right? So most of the deer I get done in burger. So this has been defrosting, it's about 24 hours in the fridge. It's all good to go. And as you can see, we've got our deer burger right there. Oh yeah, look at that, man. We're gonna turn that into like absolute ridiculous deliciousness right now. So let's go ahead and put that in our bowl there. We're gonna start making some burgers. Probably get four out of that or so. But not only are we gonna make burgers out of this, it's the way that we are cooking it is gonna be insane. Follow me. Well, I've got a confession, y'all. Before I show you this, I you guys know me as a dipper. I like to dip my gosh dang tobacco. Well, I started smoking. Disaster. I, I know, I know, it's bad. Um, I started smoking. But trust me, if you guys see this video, you watch this video, you're gonna start smoking too, trust me. You're gonna start smoking too, strictly by the way it looks. This might be a little bit of peer pressure, but you know, trust me, you guys are gonna love this son of a bitch. I bought a gosh dang Traeger, baby! Woohoo! Come outside, check this out. This is my brand new gosh dang Traeger. I already cooked some burgers on it. You can see, you need to clean that son of a bitch. If you guys have not, you know, I, I've heard so many good things about Traegers. I follow a couple people on Instagram that use Traegers and I was just like, oh my gosh, I freaking want to cook like that. Because I have so much wild game from all my hunts and all my fishing trips. <sighs> That's what we got to do, baby. We got some mesquite wood pellets in there. We're going to top that off a little bit here. These are just the regular Traeger mesquite pellets. Mesquite's good for burgers and it's also good for fish, which I cook a lot of fish. So... That's what we're gonna do there. If I can get this shit from out of here. I'm just gonna top that off. It's good. And we are ready to turn that son bitch on. You ready to smoke these guys dang burgers? Yeah. Alright, so we got our ground deer meat here. Usually um, when you're when you're dealing with venison, like deer, um, the fat, especially if you're hunting in the south and stuff like that, the fat on them is usually not good enough to, you know, make burgers and stick together. So a lot of times with venison, you gotta add beef fat. Um, this, this deer actually had a lot of fat, so they chunked it up and stuff like that and put it in the burgers. I don't know, man, I can't tell you. This is either my Indiana deer or my Texas deer. I can't remember. I got a couple of them. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a couple burgers right here, just like that. And a good um, piece of advice is when you're grilling them or smoking them like this and you're putting them on a grill setting, put your thumb in there and give it a little bit of indent and then put it on the grill like that and it'll keep it from bubbling up and everything like that. Ooh, that son of a bitch is already starting to smoke. Yeah. So actually before I even put anything on my pan, I'm gonna go ahead and just, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is some of the greatest stuff you could ever get. This is High Mountain Seasonings Buffalo Wing Burger Seasoning, dude. And this stuff smells absolutely ridiculous, like a buffalo wing, man. Oh, so I'm gonna put a little bit of, little bit of rub down on here already, so we're gonna lay them down on the burger, just a little bit, just so we can lay the burgers on top while I'm getting them out, all right? We got one right there, we're gonna make the rest up. All right, we got five burgers we made out of that, that was about a pound, so listen, little word of advice, I've made this mistake a ton of times while <laughs> cooking any food really but i have most of my wild game and stuff in a deep freezer and sometimes i'm like oh i'm gonna cook this tonight and i and i just pull it out of the freezer and i try to defrost it faster than actually you know just putting it in a fridge and let it defrost over 24 hours try to plan your cooking out because if you try to defrost it too fast and which i did with some uh, halibut from alaska i did that last week and i defrosted. i just basically ran under hot water and then i just did it super quick and then you know fried them up 
it makes the meat a little bit, you know, tougher and stuff like that. And uh, it's just, it's not the greatest. So um, keep that in mind whenever you're de thawing stuff. All right, so, ooh, I could smell that son bitch already going. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna finish seasoning it. This stuff actually is pretty strong, like spicy wise. I put way too much on last time. But uh, we're gonna throw some garlic salt on there. Um, by the way, Sweet and Heat by Traeger. Oh my goodness. I'm not, this video is not sponsored by Traeger either, by the way. I'm just, uh, I'm just a fan, all right? I'm just a fan. So let's get some, get some garlic salt. We got that. I mean, shit, that's, that's probably good. So we're gonna do. All right, what we're gonna do with these, oh dang, look at that. So now, I told you guys we're smoking these gosh dang deer burgers. What we're gonna do now, I don't have, I got two pieces of cheese, but I got some freaking Cheddar Jack shredded cheese. This is the cool thing about this trigger. I'm not going to flip these things. I'm literally going to leave them in there and leave the top down until they are done at 160 degrees, which is a perfect medium, all right? So that means I'm gonna put the cheese on first, which you don't have to, but I want that cheese to be perfectly melted whenever I open that thing and it just looks absolutely delicious, right? Let's go ahead and throw some cheese on. Actually, we're gonna do that while we're on the grill because I still need to flip the other side and season those. Ooh, that smells so gosh dang good. So I got a little thermometer here that I'm gonna stick in one of the burgers and this trigger actually tells you what the temperature is when you push the button, all right? Yeah, I'll just a little bit of pan. Just they don't stick that well. There she freaking blows. Now we're gonna do a little seasoning on top on this side here which might make your grill a little bit messy, but you can always take it out clean. And then hand me the cheese, fat boy. Well, all of these burgers woke Luna up. Luna? Hey, bring Luna out here. The new puppy. What are you doing, Luna? I guess she was sleeping real good. Luna, what do you think about these burgers, huh? Yeah, baby. What do you think? This is gonna be your first venison, this first wild game, hmm? Okay, now I'm gonna throw some cheese on here. Throw some cheese perfectly on there, just like that. We're gonna make a mess with the shredded. Oh, bacon! We got some gosh dang bacon too! I forgot about that! Can't forget the freaking bacon, dude! You're supposed to put that on before the cheese. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some bacon here. We're gonna throw some bacon right on top, just like that. It's gonna be freaking good. Am I making y'all's mouth water yet? Water. Yeah, just like that. All right, so get your bacon on there, and then we're gonna throw the cheese right on top. We're gonna not throw bacon on that one. Just we already threw cheese. We're gonna throw cheese on top, just like this. A little more shredded cheese on top of that one. A little more on top of that one. Who don't love some cheese and bacon? Mm, God dang! All right, last thing you want to do, you grab this thermometer, clean that some bitch off. Just throw this meat with thermometer in this burger, just like that. Perfect. I'm gonna close the lid, and that is the last time we're gonna see the burgers right there. Goodbye. Now it's just time to let our mouths water and wait. Hi, baby girl. Are you excited? You excited for some deer burgers? Yeah. Oh, cute. All right. Of course, you want to make a side dish or something like that. Right here, we got some sweet potato fries with sea salt. Oh, it always goes good with freaking deer burgers. You got to love sweet potato fries. Dang, <laughs> like got back in my eye. What are you doing, man? Yeah, um, throwing shit away in my eye. <laughs> Bless you, what the hell is going on up in this kitchen? <laughs> All right, here we are. They're up to temperature, at least that's what she says. That was about 20, 25 minutes. If you want to be my spatula man, I want you guys to look at the beautifulness of whenever we open this son bitch up. You ready for this? She blows bacon. Deer burgers with cheese. Look how freaking good that looks. All right, we got that bacon under there. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. As you can see, these burgers are a tad red. That's that. That's that buffalo seasoning on it. Look at that, man. You can see in between there. That is beautiful, dude. Yeah. Dang, boy. All right, close that up. Let's take these inside. All right, here we go. This is how I make a burger right here. We get some mayo. This is light mayo. You know, I'm trying to lose a little weight. It's actually for fat boy. Don't tell him. I apologize. 
guys for that. <laughs> we're gonna get mayonnaise here. We're gonna throw some mayonnaise on that side and on this side. We're gonna spread that in with our freaking knife. All right, once you got the mayonnaise all over that, you're gonna grab one of your burgers here with cheese and bacon. You're gonna throw her on. Let's throw another one on here. See the redness in this burger here? That's from that, uh, that's from that buffalo wing seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and throw that on right there. Mmm, yes, sir. Ah. All right, now you could do a lot of things. You know, you can do some Grey Poupon, Country Dijon. I think I might do a tad bit of that. You can do yellow mustard, you can do tomato ketchup, you can do ranch, all that stuff. But I'm not kidding. I'm gonna put some of this sweet heat on with just a little bit of Great Country Dijon mustard. We'll take some of this right here. We're gonna throw just a little bit on top, like that, give it a little kick. This is Grey Poupon. Grey Poupon, Country Dijon. Oh, yeah. We're gonna throw just a tad of that on there, right? And then, what I like to do, take some of this sweet heat, and we're just gonna drizzle that over top. This stuff's really wet, but we're gonna just drizzle it like that. Oh yes, baby, yes. And you've got bacon on there, so it gives it that little bit of barbecue-y taste. Oh, it is delicious, man. Look at that. You can interchange it for ketchup. Yeah, that works. Or you can still put ketchup on there. Either way, you are good to go. We're gonna top that on there. There's some bacon and cheese up on it, son bitch. We're just gonna have them just like that. I am gonna take some of these sweet potato fries right here. Just like that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. A little, little crispy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. And with sweet potato fries, you gotta love it. We're gonna do some a little bit of ranch there. That is perfect right there, baby. This is dinner. Sweet potato fries, deer burgers, buffalo style. You gotta remember you get the buffalo style and then you got the Traeger sauce on there. All right, here we go. Let's get a taste. A nice, beautiful chunk of taste here. Oh my goodness, God dang that is delicious. Mmm, look how good that looks. Mmm, I'm doing something about this burger. Makes it so tender, so, oh, it's just delicious. And the taste is unbelievable. When you smoke these gosh dang burgers on the Traeger, one of the best things you could ever have. And what makes it even better is we're doing a kill and grill. Kill and grill, catch and cook, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing. Shot this deer less than six months ago, and now it's feeding the family. Got to freaking love it, man. So let me know if you guys wanna try this at home. Even if you guys don't have a Traeger, but you have some sort of smoker, definitely try it out. And don't forget to actually warm up your Traeger or smoker before you throw the burgers on. You have to make sure it's up to a certain amount of degree before you you know, turn it to the one you want. So after the smoking thing and it gets smoked up and everything, you gotta make sure you warm her up. Fat boy, you gotta come in here and try these burgers, bro. Oh, man. Delicious. Mmm. Got that bacon on this there. This one looks done. I'll take this one. Oh, yeah. Try it out. No, seriously. That's freaking delicious, man. Is it? Bite into that. How's that? Let me see in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Medium. Oh, man. Freaking love it. Get you some sweet potato fries. Come on. Oh, man. Right well, Come here. Are you, are you just freaking... Come on. Get you a bite of that burger, man. What are you, vegetarian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you, vegetarian? Come on. Get you a bite of that. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Damn, boy. Is that good or what? Oh, yeah. Look at that fun now. Mm. Look at that fun now. Mmm. Nice. Birthday boy over here. Dude! Your birthday! How old are you, man? 21. 20 gosh dang one! Man, I gotta get you a beer. Hold on one sec. Alright, mother truckers. Try this at home. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whenever you guys try it out. Ooh, got a little band bro hair in there. For crazy. You gotta love that crap, man. Good low. You like that, fat boy? Mm. Right, really good. Tell me. Let me know what you guys think of that. Smoking deer burgers. I'm smoking now, mother truckers. How about that? Puff, puff. Love y'all. If you guys want to see more killing grills, catching cooks, more cooking specials, you let me know. I got a gosh dang king salmon I caught in Alaska this past year. I've been written smoke up on that some bitch, so maybe we'll do that this week as well. Hey, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Hey, where's the puppy at? Chilling on the bone. You sure? No, I was watching. Hey, what do you got in your mustache, dude? Looks like you ate her. Looks like he ate her and gosh dang, blood's all over his freaking nasty beard. Meh. Oh, look at her. Oh. oh, you hiding in the boots. Is it nap time? She loves hiding in the boots. All right, baby Luna, let's say bye to him. Tell him, 25, 8, 366, no matter what you're doing. Keep it freaking Halle Berry. Holler, y'all. Born in a trailer in the middle of the woods. Shooting deer and drinking beer.
Yes, all this understood. Dip in my lip, much in my hand. Redneck nation on my back, we dominate and fade to black. Getting drunk up in the back of the bourbon truck. I'm skinning bugs, shooting ducks, running them up like giving a fuck. Y'all don't like.